Hello. Uh, yeah, uh, last week, uh, I did share a topic about the top five technology trend in 2021. And some of my good friend uh, feedback to me, and they want to understand more about the HCI uh, potential market and also the technology trend in 2021. So today, uh, I would like to use uh, the hype cycle to explain about the hyperconverged uh, infrastructure technology and how it evolved and what will be the position in 2021 and onwards. So to start with, uh, I think everybody, uh, you are familiar with uh, this diagram of uh, some of you, you may not understand. So I would like to take a little bit time to explain about, okay, this uh, model. This is what they call the hype uh, uh, cycle. Uh, actually, this uh, model is developed okay, by Gartner and also a, a very famous American researcher to talk about a, a new technology, a product, uh, how they go through okay, their cycle. So normally you can see the Y axis and the X axis is the expectations across time. So when the technology comes right, remember uh, hyperconverge. So uh, this is the con concept uh, starting from like uh, 2010 uh, and afterwards. Uh, in 2015, it may reach to the peak and some of the new product are released. So you see when the product comes, uh, there's a process about the expectations. The expectation is okay, when a new product, new technology comes, Everybody will okay start from say ah uh -huh, the expectation will go will go will go very high. Why is that? Because they don't know about the technology. They just listen from the expert, and then uh, they start to try to feel about the technology. Of course, uh, not a lot of people can try. Only few people can adopt the technology in the very beginning stage. So uh, most of the hype okay start from the media. And the media will tell about the technology can improve a lot of things, whatever, right? So in our daily life, you should aware like uh, AI, blockchain, a lot of technology, okay. When they uh, release, right? It comes to a very high expectation, but not a lot of product coming. So we just believe, oh, this is a great technology that can help, right? But after we reach the peak of the expectations, people are aware, oh, so, there may be some shortfalls about the technologies. There may be some issues when we deploy the technologies, right? There may be some hardware issues in terms of supply, maybe the costing of the product and the solutions, right? So after the expectation, this regard all these uh, actual things, uh, once we go to the peak, and then there will be some other side effect, negative effect, right? As a result, the expectation drops. When the expectation drop right across time, right? So of course, uh, the technology is still developed or whatever. Some of the technologies will die in this stage if they cannot really solve the problem and also the negative effect. Uh, maybe like, okay, the costing issue, uh, the supply chain, uh, how they deploy this technology, right? So after this process gone, it will go through another healthy stage climbing the slope. That means as time goes by, the technology say, okay, ah, I understand the market requirement. I understand the market lead. So take HCI as an example. From my personal point of view, I can see, okay, starting from like uh, 10 years back, it's still in the R&D stage. Some startup companies, uh, they do venture uh, capital funding. Uh, I think in the market, a lot of people know a lot of the HCI companies in the world. Some of them doing like a hyperconverged infra for the compute. Some of them doing like the software defined storage or related technologies, okay, there. And a lot of the high expectations. And after some years, when they release the product, they face some challenges, how they deploy in life, uh, how to deploy in the market. So right now in 2021 next year, I do believe the whole HCI technology are moving to the climbing the slope stage. That means uh, the methodologies and the best practice developing the technology is improving a lot. And there will be like a third generation of products, out of the box product, okay, can be available in the market. 
So right now, I do believe HCR is in this stage. And in the coming year, 2021 and onwards, uh, there will be a high growth adoptions. So that's why when from time to time, I talk to the partner, right? So you have to be aware the coming trend of the technologies and the market movement. And also, okay, the uh, end user expectation in the market. So I do believe right now the people in the market, the end user in the market become more realistic. They understand the technology, okay, need to be more down to earth, deploy, solve their problem, rather than just a very high expectation to solve everything. They become more like a realistic expectation for the product itself. So this is the stage that I do believe. And I think, okay, in the coming years, HCI will have a very high growth because the product right now, okay, moving from the climbing, the slope stage to entering the plateau, the high demand stage. Uh, in terms of the methodologies and best practice for development, right now in hyperconverge, a lot of people talking about the MME, SSD, within the HCI infra to improve the application requirements, some of the high demand database applications. This is a very, very key uh, technology <coughs> movement <coughs> in terms of the HCI. And this can help uh, the technology uh, to go into another stage. And there are other new technology Okay, develop uh, under the HCI talking about the CDP, how we do the continual data protection within the HCI infra, uh, like uh, the DC DLC protection features and also the site recovery manager, the SLM, how we ensure the application, okay, running nonstop 24 uh, by seven whole year. So we must guarantee, okay, these kind of uh, uh, applications uh, or features are available. And these are the methodologies or even the best practice for the development of the HCI here. So in the market, uh, we, uh, I just share some of the idea in one of the uh, Forrester uh, market research reports. Uh, there are a lot of uh, common uh, work nodes uh, applications being one on the hyperconverged systems already. So uh, you see uh, some of the area, not, still not very high uh, usage. Uh, in the report, of course, you see a lot of the database application, uh, quite a lot of the enterprises, uh, governments, uh, different industries, they are moving their database uh, to the hyperconverged infra to improve the efficiency. So all this, okay, they will rely on the new uh, uh, concept in the database. Uh, they are using like the software defined storage in the hyperconverged rather than, okay, the traditional uh, database running on like a uh, last or uh, other like a uh, set storage in order to improve uh, the ease of the operations and also to fully utilize the resources. Uh, the second part is the file and print surfaces under the hyperconverged infra. I think it becomes a more common virtual desktop still growing. And you see, okay, finally some analytics and other web facing workloads uh, like the LAMP stack. LAMP stack most of the web services like um, uh, based on Linux, Apache, uh, MySQL, and PHP, uh, this kind of a software stack is quite popular in the market. And right now they are all moving to the hyperconverged infra. When you see this trend, uh, I do believe in 2021, other than the traditional network infra, the whole trend, okay, the people they are selling is moving to the network, compute, and storage, coming together to the hyperconverge. One of the things I want to share is hyperconverge in terms of the position. Uh, in most of the companies, okay, like H3C, we are targeting say this solution will be lined between traditional infra and moving to the cloud infra. So when you start with the hyperconverge, actually you are stepping into the cloud era. That means when you build your hyperconverge infra, on the top layer, you can add your cloud OS to integrate different kinds of uh, hyperconverged infra together with other cloud infrastructure into your ICT infra. This kind of concept is very important for most of the CIO and CTO to plan uh, how to save more resources when you build your infra because everybody knows already ICT expenditure in coming year because of the COVID-19 
will become very important because of everything going to the internet, everything going like to remote, how we can build a very effective infrastructure to meet all the customer need. HCI will be one of the way out to solve most of the problems. So uh, in case you have anything to share, please leave your message. Thank you for uh, listening this week. Bye-bye.